Hey, thanks for joining me this week on the channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about something that I wish major travel vans would include directly from the factory, and that is an always on rear view camera. Now then, my Mercedes Benz chassis uh, does have a backup camera, but it is backup only. It does not uh, have the ability to stay on all of the time. And so, Whenever you're driving this giant box down the road, it'd be great to be able to see what's behind you, right? And so for some reason, I don't know why, Mercedes has deactivated that camera when the vehicle is moving forward. It can only be activated when moving in reverse. And so there are plenty of third-party systems out there, so you can remedy this problem. And I am going to be talking about one today that a company sent me to take a look at. Um, and so I'm gonna do a little bit of a review on it and tell you whether it's worth it or not. Okay, if this is your first time on the channel, I would invite you to subscribe because we're always talking about leisure travel vans, gear, gadgets, and everything in between. Also, if you think about it, uh, give me the old thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithms spread this content to other people interested in this type of content. Really appreciate all of those interactions that you guys always seem to give the channel. Really helps out on helping grow. Anyway, so today we are going to be talking about a solution uh, that, like I said, should come from the factory, but does not. Um, and so I looked and there are so many different options out there to solve this problem. So I jumped on Camping World real quick because I figured that they would have just about every brand of RV camera that you could think of. And there are solutions from $399 all the way up to about $700. Well, the camera I'm looking at today is a TX brand. Obviously, it is uh, probably an overseas brand um, that is really inexpensive at $199. They're even giving a discount code for an extra 10% off of that, and you can buy it on Amazon. That means if you're a Prime member, it's even free shipping. And so all of the links and, uh, and codes, discount codes will be in the description below or at pagosasupply.co on the website. So uh, let's jump down to the leisure travel van and see what I have to say about this camera. Okay, so now I've just got this hooked up because I wasn't prepared to, to screw it into the back of my uh, van yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this or not. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. I don't mind waving my hand in front of the, the motion activated sensor to turn it on whenever I need to change lanes or something like that. You just gotta be, you know, kind of plan ahead. So I've actually rigged this to go up uh, to be powered through my Blue Eddy right here, which by the way, I love this thing here, uh, this Blue Eddy uh, portable power bank. Uh, so I've got the camera powered by the battery bank and typically this would go probably about right here is where you'd want it, maybe a little higher, if you're, especially if you're carrying a toad and you wanted to keep an eye on that. But anyway, I just got it, I just got it wired right into my Blue Eddy for right now. But let's go up front and let's go see what the image quality is like in the monitor. Okay, so here we are up front. We've got the monitor right here. It's actually a really good size monitor, much larger than the one I have uh, for the, the one I've been using. Uh, and again, this has been great, and I'm, I'm fine with this. Now, a lot of people aren't. M many people don't want it to have to turn it on or wave their hand in front of it in order for it to turn on. So this stays on. This is constant, because again, it is 12 volt powered on the camera. That's why this one doesn't, because that one's battery pack. And so, Right now we've got it on, and as you can see, it's, it's a pretty good camera. It's very cloudy today, so it's not a sunny day, so it's not a real good representation of what, how uh, probably it looks a lot better generally on a sunny day. Several options on this. Now, as I was playing around with the menus, I did see that you could actually use this, buy some more cameras, and have them placed around your house. It actually records, so you can put an SD card in this and record. So this might even be good if you, you I mean, at the end of the day you could actually get another camera put it up here and it would, could record via dash cam as well as record behind um, and again you could use this at your house and record if you wanted to sd card always on 12 volt powered um, so it's definitely doable but for an always on camera i could definitely see the value of this like i said 
Uh, this attaches, it's got screws and different things. I would not screw it into my dash. I would use command strips, something like that to keep it right here. Um, and I mean, it is not blipped at all. It's got a really good connection. Uh, this is a 25 foot coach. So right now we're about at that 24, 25 feet and it seems to be working fantastic. And so overall, I think this is a good quality product. Again, I haven't used it long term, literally just got it out of the box. Um, played around with it a little bit to make sure that it worked correctly. But from what I could tell, would totally do the job. So if you are interested in this, I will put a link to it down below. They're also going to give me a discount code uh, to put down there for it if you want to, to grab it. Um, and again, this thing right here is what I have been using. Um, this is a definitive upgrade if you don't mind uh, a couple of screws in the back of your LTV to attach the camera. I do like this because it just screws onto the license plate bracket. But then again, you have to wave your hand in front of it, motion activated to get it to turn on. Um, and when it, the times that I have rude that is whenever I need to get over quick on a highway or something, and I want to just double check to see if there's you know, what's coming down the pike. And it does, it, it takes about two to three seconds for it to fully come on. So huge value in this. Um, a wireless backup, always on camera, totally see the value of this, um, and I think I would totally recommend this. So if you're interested in this, the links will be down below in the comment or in the description, uh, as well as a discount code. So with that being said, take a look at this wireless always on backup camera. Well, there you have it. As you can see, it is a good solution and a very, very budget friendly version. Again, the links are down below if you wish to purchase that with a discount code. Now, that discount code only goes until March 22nd, so you need to jump on it if you want to save 10%. But at the price it is, man, it's, it's really, really inexpensive and a high quality product. So that's it for this week. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and we will see you next week.